Well, you got to be totally prepared because it's very competitive nowadays. For any good job, you'll have a hundred people show up and uh, there's one winner. So the odds are, are pretty tough. So you have to be prepared and uh, it's, it's sort of like training for a prize fight. I've never trained for a prize fight, but that's, I think that you, you, you live with your trombone day and night and you have to practice those excerpts to where they're second nature, where you can play them a little faster, a little slower. If they ask you to play it again, a different way that you're able to be flexible to do that. And you have about 10 minutes to be able to, in that 10 minutes, demonstrate that you've got total command of your instrument and on all these passages and that you, you've played them all a million times. <laughs> uh, is key, and uh, that's what's hard for a younger players. Never hasn't had as much orchestral experience. They might have great chops, but a committee can tell, discern whether they played them with an orchestra or not. So, even though you haven't, you sort of have to be able to fool them into thinking you have. And if you had more experience, I think that stands in your stead pretty well. So it's it's a very difficult. It's kind of like the equivalent passing the bar exam for a lawyer. You go through music school, but you have to pass your musical bar exam, which would be an audition, whether it be for a symphony orchestra or a college teaching job or, or any other situation. You control your nerves by being prepared, and, and in the, the time that you are preparing before the event itself, uh, it, I practice performing. Uh, you. You might be practicing your excerpts and, okay, the last part of your hour that you're working there, okay, I'm going to give myself a practice audition and make believe that the committee is there. I've actually gotten more nervous in those situations than I have when I've been on the actual audition because sometimes when people listen to, to you, I get a kind of a little stimulus, which helps me to do it. So you do it cold turkey like that, or you can play your, your audition into a tape recorder don't stop or you can get your friends around. This is what I advise all the people to do, who, the students who are getting ready to take an audition. And you have to do this a couple months in advance to where when you get to the actual audition, it's almost anticlimactic. You've been in the, the in your mind in, the, uh, in that situation many times before. And it's just another time. That's, it's a mental preparation. There's a lot of mental aspect of this. And you have to be able to play Mozart, Strauss, Wagner, Rossini in 10 minutes. And you have to shift gears and styles. And you can't just play everything the same way. So those are all very important ingredients in, ingredients in passing an audition.